Good afternoon, Johnson. Well, I'm very glad to see you both back. Now, tell me, last time I saw you, you just—I uh, just saw you start off on that first march along the road. Well, what sort of country did you find once you got over the frontier into Burma? Uh, over the Chinwen, uh, very difficult. For about the first 40, 50 miles to the other side of the scarf. Very difficult indeed. Uh, after that, very very heavy. I see. Afternoon, Jeffrey. Afternoon, Tom. Afternoon, Thompson. Good afternoon, Tom. Well, I'm very glad to see you both back. Now, uh, tell me, last time I saw you, your column was just starting off down the road on its first march into Burma. What sort of country did you find once you got in over the frontier into Burma? Over the Chinwens, I was very broken indeed for the first uh, 40 or 50 miles till we got the other side of the escarpment. After that, it was uh, considerably better going. So you got along all right then. Yes, sir. Well, now, the uh, supply dropping worked out pretty well on the whole, didn't it? Tell me uh, any difficulties you found. It, it went very well indeed, sir. As you know, we made very elaborate r arrangements beforehand, but none of them turned out to be necessary. I see. It all worked out well. Yes, sir. Good. And now your equipment and kit. I saw you just before you started off and looked all over your kit and equipment. How did that work out? Do you find you got what you wanted, or too much of anything, or not enough? Did it work out pretty well? Um, you we used everything we had, sir, but uh, we had too much of it on mules. The supply drop was so successful, it, it need not have taken quite so much. In fact, we can cut it down very considerably. Oh, well, good, because I thought you had rather a, a lot of transport. There was definitely too yeah. much, sir. So that uh, when they asked for particular items, when you asked for particular items of equipment, from the base, they came along by air pretty well, did they? Very well indeed, sir. The base administration, I think, was perfect. They got us anything we wanted, sometimes at very short notice, and the RAF was prepared to fly them out as soon as they were on the plane, at any time of day or night. I see. Right. Well, then, I think the uh, the uh, column justified itself and was very successful, didn't you think so? And it shows that uh, we can take the Japanese on at that sort of fighting in that sort of country with considerable success. Don't well, you agree? Very, very definitely, sir. We had the measure of them on this occasion. I'm quite sure we will again. Good. Yeah, and then the troops all did very well, didn't they? They did extremely well, yes. And the British uh, were just as up to that sort of fighting, weren't they? Uh, they were magnificent. They were sitting yeah. there, they were all town bred from Lancashire. They were absolutely first class. Good. Well, you can't beat a Lancashire man, can you? Yes, I <laughs> Well, now, and you you were thoroughly satisfied with it all from the Air Force point of Very view, weren't you? Very satisfied, sir. Right. Yes, I think uh, there's a lot of possibilities for the future. The RAF had never done anything quite like this before. Well then, Thompson, when you asked for special items of equipment from the base, which weren't on the program, they all came out by air all right, did they? Yes, sir. If the base hadn't got any particular item, they always managed to get it within 24 hours, sometimes using special planes to go and get them. And uh, the RAF, as soon as they were loaded, flew them over Burma at any time of the day or night. Good. Eh? RAF did a wonderful job of work over there. Well then, taking the, uh, the uh, expedition fully justified itself, didn't it? And um, it shows that we can take on the Japanese with the ordinary, well-trained troops in that sort of country and be just as good and better than they are, and just with an ordinary British battalion. Don't you agree? Uh, very definitely, sir. Uh, our British troops came from the big towns of Lancashire. And they, they were just the townbred men. Yes. yes, they took the jungle very well indeed. We definitely had the measure of the Japs, and I'm quite sure we will our time. Huh? Good. Well, the Lancashire man's a very good soldier. Did you find it? He was first class. Uh, Lancashire man yourself? I'm Irish. Oh. And you were quite happy about the RAF thing. It was a good show, wasn't it? Quite happy about it now, sir. All we need are the planes and bases. We can supply anyone anywhere. Good. Grand. Well, I hope you'll have a good time at home. Yes, thank you very and much. And I'll see you again.
dry dropping on the whole was very effective, I understand. What the difference is? Yes. Um, no, I've lost count. Sorry, right. count. <laughs> um, dry dropping was uh, very effective, I understand. What the difference is? Well, as you know, sir, we made very elaborate arrangements, but most of them turned out to be quite unnecessary, as by the time we finished, the supply dropping was a fine art. That's all. All right, that one. Well, everything went pretty smoothly from your point of view, uh, Thompson. Yes, very well indeed, sir. And if we have the same arrangements as before, and the same aircraft, we'll... I saw the baggage and equipment you started with. How did it work out? Did you have enough? Or too much? Well, it, was all, it was all useful, sir, but um, uh, we definitely had too much. The supply dropping was so successful, we wouldn't have to take nearly so much in the future. Oh, that's fine. That's Knowing, isn't it? Uh, I'm pretty sure the exp expedition justified itself and shows that we can beat the jab at his own game. You agree, of course. Sir. Oh, very definitely, sir. There's no doubt we had the measure of the jab on this occasion, and I'm very sure that we'll have it in the future. Well, that's fine to hear that. How'd the uh, British boys work out? They were absolutely magnificent. They, they weren't exactly suited for the job. They were brought up to town by right? uh -huh. They took the jungle very well, and they were first class all the way through. Thanks, sir, people. Do you come from Asia? No, I'm from Ireland. Yeah.